This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. Your dad becomes Primarch and sends you on a secret op? That's pressure. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. Is that the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie, did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Look at this place. Bad. This platoon's mission was classified. Theories? Escape pod dead ahead. Survived the crash just in time for a harvester to take him out. Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and chewed on by husks. Gunfire. They are near. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy. And there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Nice to get a jump on them for a change. Exactly. Let's go. Find the main crash site. They'll live to fight another battle.
need. Save them all, Commander. Over here! This Over way. here! Do you read, Commander? Repeat, do you read? Shepard here. What's your status? We're in deep! Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. <clears throat> Barnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court Marshal are hanging. How will the commander leave this down? When we find him, we'll ask. Shepard here. Just saw harvesters drop a lot of enemies in your path. Understood. Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. Here's where politics pisses me off. Wouldn't the Krogan want to blow these Reapers the hell off their own planet? I need these guys working together. Better not to complicate things.
Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. Then my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they've faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son.
I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories. They're what you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? That's all. Of course, Commander. What was that all about with the Primarch? Tyrion's up to something? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. All right. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. I had a buddy who got discharged. Category 6 after Eden Prime. Got fixed? Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it, too. He fought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. Parts of the chunk are reminding me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Primark's son is in over his head, no? Hey. what to think about that little mech dog roaming the ship. You mean Sophie? I think she's cute. What purpose does she serve? I guess I have a soft spot for worthless dogs. Look how long I've been with you. Have you found that thermal pipe yet? There's probably a store on the Citadel that carries thermal pipe. Nothing to report, Commander. Commander. Nothing to report. Off the radar, reaping begins in rural areas. Millions are dead in the Central Asian wilderness, even more in Sub-Saharan Africa. We'll give you the gruesome view of what happens when the reapers don't stop to indoctrinate. Now, in the battle space. Commander, do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. I take it Protheans didn't forgive many mistakes? If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried him in sand up to his neck, and let their wildlife feast on his eyes. If he survived that, I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. Tuchonka was not always a wasteland. It once had jungles and forests. The Krogan didn't need the Reapers to destroy their world. They did it on their own. Such a foolish race. 
I am with my own thoughts. Enough about me. What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know, this and that. Come on, spill it to Sony. Very well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean Doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. <laughs> yeah, so just this and that, huh? Turians on a secret mission to Tichanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tichanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. Later. Hello, Shepard. Greetings, Commander. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Something else, Commander? Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well... Well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. So that went well. Glad to see that Turians can flip out and lose their shit just like the rest of us. They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission at the Galactic Core. And I haven't mutinied once. Not once. Commander. I am impressed by your continued existence, Shepard. The probability of surviving as long as you have is low. Hello, Shepard.
Commander, whatever you did on Tachanka has the Turians sending a lot of messages. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week. And it would be wrong. Commander, 